Good afternoon once again. I'm happy to be coming to you this third week with the third edition of our strategic leadership class. We have been discussing strategic leadership in the last few weeks and basically we indicated that it's all about strategic thinking and strategic management. But for this last few weeks, we have been focusing on strategic thinking. And basically, we have said that strategic thinking is our ability to think for a change. And thinking for a change in a way that we are able to create and deliver value that goes beyond our time and geographical space in a very consistent and sustainable manner. This session will be focusing primarily on the process and elements of the strategic thinking um, process. Basically, we have discussed the eight elements of the strategic thinking process, which is the ability to think for a change. And these eight elements include the big picture thinking, systems thinking, ethical thinking, creative thinking, positive thinking, sustainable thinking, reflective thinking, and risk-based thinking. We have indicated that big picture thinking is our ability to look at the bigger picture rather than just focusing on the minute details and the elements or the traps of everyday thinking. The everyday thinking here means that focusing basically on routine-based thinking and routine activities. We have also spoken about the systems thinking, which is a key requirement for strategic leadership. And we indicate that, indicated that systems thinking is our ability to see how the entire puzzle fits together, how the bits and pieces within the puzzle of the big picture fits together whatever we are trying to create. And so basically we're talking about the interdependency and the interrelationships that exist between the various parts and components that come together to provide either the value we are attempting to create or the change that we intend to accomplish. Of course, creative thinking is our ability to design that desired state and provide it with the necessary pictures that it ought to have. And positive thinking is our ability to surmount the challenges, the difficulties, the turbulence that comes during implementation of our ideas. It also includes our ability to prepare ourselves psychologically for the naysayers so that whenever people are trying to um, create the nervous impossible in our thought processes, we can reflect on them, we can engage them but not necessarily allowing them to destroy our creative thought patterns. It is also important to recognize that it is sometimes important to reflect and pay attention to some of the critical issues that can be raised by the naysayers, because this is one um, of the ways in which we can actually refine our thoughts because oftentimes when we would think we would think big and create a certain picture it may not be realistic in itself but then that is like a raw diamond this raw diamond would always have to be refined refining the raw diamond is about we testing our ideas or bouncing the ideas of other people so we see what comes out of that and that often could come in either constructive criticisms or negative criticisms. Whether constructive or negative criticisms, it is important that we reflect on them and take them into consideration in whatever future 
or whatever plans or whatever change we are trying to construct. We also spoke about sustainable thinking because much of the time when we think about what we want to achieve, we do not think about the consequences of what we want to achieve and how that can impact on the resource or the resources that are available today and the resources that are available in the future. We also sometimes do not actually stop to think about the future um, utility of whatever we are trying to create. Of course, reflective thinking is about our ability to look at yesterday, to look at today and incorporate history into the plans that we are trying to make. It is important that we always learn from the past and we learn from today so that we'll be able to shape the future in a more sustainable way. Risk-based thinking allows us to identify the potential risks that could come with the kind of thought or change we are trying to create so that in designing the processes to achieve the outcomes or the outputs that we desire, we can put in preventive mechanisms to ensure that the process of achieving the desired goals are not impeded by some of these risks. So, the important thing for us tonight is to discuss the difference between big picture thinking and systems thinking. And I have included in this um, video a link that I would want you to activate, watch the videos about what other people think about the systems thinking. And putting it all together, you would form groups of five and you would discuss the implications of big picture thinking and systems thinking. I would like you to identify either a change you'd want to create in your group. It can be a business idea. It can be anything you want to see change in your organization, but identify that critical issue and design a concept of big picture thinking for it. And then when you have done that, discuss the systems thinking components of it and what it would mean for the implementation or the achievement of that desired goal. I hope you would enjoy doing this activity. Thank you very much, and we will be discussing very shortly at 7 p.m. Bye for now.